So it's winter, it's very early in the morning, and I have come to a beach in the north of England because clearly I hate myself. But freezing temperatures aside, I'm here for a very important reason, and that is to test the Zero Explorer V drone because the seaside's more interesting than a, a field. The Zero Explorer V is a very good looking drone. I mean, check that out. It won a good design award in 2015 for looking so pretty. But it's also clever on the inside. It's guided by GPS. It uses Wi-Fi to connect to the controller. And underneath there, you have a 1080p camera recording at 30 frames per second. It boasts a 25 minute flight time on each replaceable battery. Ooh, okay. This is a bit icy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And here is the controller for the Explorer V. Nice and simple, thin, easy to grip, nice to control. Really simple controls, three speeds on top. Um, you have the IOC, which simplifies the orientation. The home button brings it home. And this is the auto takeoff and landing, which is fantastic. But the best thing about this controller is that. Ding! Is that the ability to connect your smartphone to connect with the drone via Wi-Fi so you can see exactly what the camera can see. Okay, we're gonna go for a test flight. So we're gonna pull the sticks separately. It's going for it. handles so smoothly, so incredibly smooth and it reacts really well. Okay, okay, we're up. Up 100 meters now. I think the maximum is about 120 meters. Don't don't quote me on that. Check. Now this thing does have a 400 foot limit, which is the, the legal maximum height you can go to in the UK. Whoa! <laughs> so it will never go higher than you're legally allowed. Beyond that, you need to follow the drone rules for your country. Okay, 
I'm going to try something now. This is, this is really smooth and hopefully the footage is nice and crisp and clean. I'm going to go a little bit crazy. I'm going to... Just to see how still the gimbal keeps the camera. So you might be seeing the propellers coming into shot. And you might see the pylons. The camera looks like it's staying steady. Right, speed. By some old ladies and some dogs, so I'm off to find a new beach. Ooh, seashell. Well, the camera is only 1080p at 30 frames per second, which is okay. And you might be thinking, well, all the new GoPro drones, the new DJI drones, they all have 4K cameras. But the Zero Explorer costs about a third of the price of those. At the moment, you can pick it up in the UK for about 500 pounds. And that camera module with the gimbal can be removed and swapped out potentially for a better camera in the future. Um, how do I get to the beach? Does not say no drones. Okay, maybe not. The worrying thing about this is that if I crash into the sea, I'm gonna lose all my footage and the drone, obviously. But if it goes in the sea, that's everything gone. So this review might just be footage of me walking on a beach. Let's hope not. The great thing about the Zero Explorer is that you don't need a tool to attach the propellers because they just literally screw on and as it spins it will be tight so no matter how fast it's going that screw will not come undone
The on-screen display on the app as you're flying around the drone is really good and there's lots of information there to help you stay safe and find exactly where your drone is. For example, on the top you've got your height in meters, speed per second, the distance from the controller, and next to that where it says Explorer 00, that's the Wi-Fi setting that you're connected to. There's also the battery power, very important to see how much juice you've got left, and also how many satellites you're connected to, and there's 10. Bottom left is Google Maps showing your exact position. It's really good. Okay, while filming that, I really didn't realize how much the tide had come in. So, yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> So a really good drone, at a decent price. One complaint, you might have seen in the control screen footage, there was a little button that said, follow me. Press that and the drone should lock onto the controller so you can go hands-free and it will follow you around wherever you go. That feature is not available to Android users. It's only available if you use the iOS app on an iPhone. I had an Android phone today, so I was unable to test that, and I was not aware of that. So zero, update your Android app.